Hey everybody, Cameron here with Whiskey and Crypto with Cam. Today I've got pretty uh, exciting stuff for you, I think. So today um, I'm going to finally open and review the St. George Baller. So I've had that bottle I teased you guys with for a while and I was actually hesitant to open it. So it's really hard to get and um, it's a California whiskey it's not very expensive, but you can't get it anywhere. Um, I dare you to go and look for it in your local store because you can't find it. So another fun one, kind of like the Weller from uh, earlier this week, but a little bit smaller. So uh, this is St. George Distillery. They are from Alameda, California. And they first made a single malt whiskey, which I've never tried. And they make a bunch of different spirits now. And they're their head distiller, I think, is Lance Winters, and he wanted to make a whiskey, an American whiskey, but with a Japanese whiskey feel to it. It's supposed to be a little smoky, um, so I'm pretty excited about it. So I also, uh, in their own description, they say that it is great in highballs, thus the name Baller. Um, it's a high proof. It is 47% alcohol, so that's a 94 proof. Uh, so I'm going to try it and give you a little bit of my feedback, and then I'm going to teach you how to make a Rob Roy, which is similar to a Manhattan, um, but using a scotch. And this is supposed to be smoky enough to substitute for a scotch in a Rob Roy. So let's see how it goes. Um, if you haven't already noticed, boy, I think this bottle art, by the way, is terrific. And um, so, yeah. Nice cork. I think it has uh, some different um, barrels that it's aged in, and I can't remember them all off the top of my head, so I'm going to look real quick this is from their website st george st george spirits.com so after distillation the whiskey is aged in used bourbon casks french oak wine casks and filtered through maple charcoal so see what it's like oh wow that's interesting i can almost smell plums in it just right away Wow. I don't even know what to think. Almost a cigar um, smokiness with plums and some sweetness. Even a tiny bit of wineness to it. You know, I'm not going to say this is like hands down my favorite whiskey, but I am going to say. This is a fun whiskey, and it's a lot more complex than a lot other. This is a $70 bottle if you could actually find it. So I'm going to have to think on it. So in the meantime, let's teach you how to make a Rob Roy. I'm going to make sure there's no water in my ice that I got ready for you guys. Um, we're outside, so I can just pour the water out. Why not, right? So a Rob Roy is like a Manhattan, except that you use scotch. So we're going to use equal parts scotch and uh, sweet vermouth in this case. Now you can use dry vermouth. I don't personally like it, but it is actually a thing. You can also do what they call a perfect Rob Roy, which is half dry vermouth, half sweet vermouth mixed with your, um, your scotch. Okay, now who would have thought that I was going to have trouble getting my cherries on a skewer? So I always use Luxardo cherries if I can, but they are dumb expensive. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for them. Uh, just trying to rinse that a little bit because I don't want to stir it with too much cherry juice. So. Equal parts. I've already iced the glass as you saw. 
So your typical martini glass holds about four ounces. So I'm going to do two two ounce pours. I mean two one ounce pours for two ounces each. You can see I don't really hold the bottle like a bartender and all the cool stuff, but at least I know what goes in it. So that's what I kind of like. So while I'm stirring this, let's talk about Bitcoin real quick. Holy cow, it's on a run today. 86.42 as we speak right now. That's a pretty solid run in the last couple days. Ah, dash of bitters. Almost forgot. Strain into a chilled martini glass. Garnished with Luxardo cherries. And there is the Rob Roy. Now, that same drink, but made with uh, rye, would be a Manhattan. All right, so that is one of the top three Manhattans I've made. That is really good. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll get a second opinion on whether or not that Manhattan, or I mean Rob Roy, is any good. And a second opinion on this. I'll put it in the comments below. Because I'm not sure how I feel about this neat yet. It'll be interesting. Yeah. That is an outstanding Manhattan. So, all right, guys. Well, it's time for me to actually get to work. Um, and by work, I mean geeking out on the computer and editing this and updating, uploading this. And tonight I'm going to um, check an updated build of SafePay Wallet that Eternity has uh, put up for me to check and hopefully compile that. And also safe nodes, sneak peek should be, should be going. I'm trying to get uh, the user part of this because I'm the end user that's kind of a dummy. I'm trying to get that squared away and um, as far as me being able to figure it out. So hopefully everybody else can figure it out. That'll be one of my next videos. And that's about it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like my videos, talk about Bitcoin, talk about Safecoin, talk about other cryptos just for fun, and of course, talk about whiskey because that's fun too. All right, see ya.